<laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron, one of the owners and founders of Avid CNC. And I'm here today to introduce a fun summer project we did with Lawrence Chang, who interned with us for a few weeks this summer. We first met Lawrence at Maker Fair in San Mateo uh, when he came by our booth. He was obviously a bright and motivated young man based mostly on the questions he was asking about our CNC machines, which were some of the best questions we'd gotten all day. We chatted for a bit about Lawrence's work with his local robotics club, and it was clear that he already had significant experience in the software tools that we use here at Avid for use in computer-aided manufacturing. So even though he'd been doing most of his work on smaller hobby-grade CNC machines, he clearly understood the advantages and the workflow of CNC. It turned out Lawrence was also exhibiting at Maker Faire and had a booth with a bunch of friends where they made some clever and fun electric vehicles. So it got us thinking, hmm, he already knows how to manufacture things and he's into electric vehicles, what could he do if we gave him access to a shop full of industrial machine tools and gave him some access to some of our engineering staff uh, to work on an electric vehicle project? What could he do? You're about to find out. Uh, so my name is Lawrence and I go to school at Palo Alto High School. It's kind of cliche, but you know, I've always had a knack for taking things apart and figuring out how, how things work. And then really that carried through my childhood and into middle school and then finally high school. Robotics has has really just changed my life. Like getting to be a part of that community. I've learned like countless skills there about like teamwork, how to work professionally, and of course technical skills like modeling in CAD, fabricating parts and so forth. And it's definitely something I want to continue doing while in college and probably after college as well in the field of mechanical engineering and also just probably involving in community robotics teams as well. So the task was to make something that could be manufactured on Avid's machines that would exhibit their capabilities, but with some sort of electric vehicle twist to it. So then I thought, okay, why don't we try some sort of a mini electric motorcycle of sorts, since that tends to be smaller scale. So I did some research and found, oh, there's three wheeled motorcycles, tricycles, except the wheels are on the front. So like, hey, this looks pretty cool. I'll get to learn a bit about the suspension and like the steering linkage arms, and I decided to roll with that. This is a, an earlier version of the model, and it's more updated now. The whole premise is that this is manufacturable using the materials and techniques that we use in the Avid shop. So we have plasma cut parts, CNC parts, and of course, lots of aluminum extrusion. So the main body is composed of two eighth inch steel plates that have been plasma cut and have the Avid logo, as you can see. And also is framed using this T-slot aluminum extrusion. So the batteries are behind this plate and it's these four blocks here, one, two, and they get stored in this underbelly area in the bike. So looking from the front, we have the steering column here, and then these tie rods turn the wheel hub, which is a bolt that goes through here, and it is composed of these two quarter-inch plates that mount to this central axle, and then the entire wheel assembly rotates along this pivot whenever you turn. In addition to this, there's also a front suspension. Uh, we have a four bar linkage arm that allows the entire front wheel to move up and down. Then we moved on to this rear assembly here where there are two shocks and there's these two aluminum plates that act as the mount for the rear wheel. And then it's window just to make things lighter and this is out of quarter inch aluminum. The back wheel is a 26 inch hub motor. So the hub motor is this big pancake thing in the middle and this is a motor integrated into the wheel. And it just made things really simple because you could just slap this on and it would spin. Yeah. All the bike parts I see, so the stem, the handlebars, um, the wheels are really just normal um, bicycle parts that you can buy anywhere. Uh, the e-bike stuff that we bought is this hub motor wheel assembly and the speed control electronics and throttle. So yeah, one of the new things about this project was designing the whole steering suspension geometry for the bike. And it's something I haven't done before. So when we got it into the design and we were like, okay, this is gonna work. And we finally made it, it did not work. So what I would learn from this process is Definitely do more research and consult more people that have had this experience before and then take the time 
to be able to cycle through an iterative process when you're exploring some sort of new concept like I was with suspension or steering geometry. Obviously, I've had experience just doing things by myself, and it's really just been kind of fudging the numbers and doing it from the hip, right? So I think working with actual professional engineers has been really insightful as to how the mathematics and like the theoretical physics actually works into creating even something that's maybe unassuming like a DIY electric tricycle. A lot about like the shear strength of bolts, uh, the stress and strain of materials, all that kind of stuff that you know I really kind of avoided or really was not exposed to when you just do things by yourself and teach yourself. So I'd say what I got out of that experience is just it's, it was really eye-opening how big the world of mechanical engineering is and excited me to pursue these kinds of things in college. My ambition after college and in life is to be able to use engineering somehow to better our world. So that's very broad and vague, but there's a couple ideas out there that I have. I think the biggest issue in our society right now is an unsustainable future and in terms of climate change. So I want to be at the frontier of human technology somehow. So whether that is working on the newest cutting edge electric vehicle technology for a more sustainable world, or even like helping SpaceX get humans to Mars, and really all of that just sounds very exciting. That's a very noble and respectable goal.